Another thing to consider is the threshold. Now the inside, the garage floor, is higher than the outside. And it does slope right there where the door meets the threshold. So if I were to put in a door here, I need clearance for it to go over this floor. And if I were to do that, then when the door is closed, I'm going to have at least a half inch or three quarter inch gap underneath. So what I'm going to do is install a threshold first. And I want my threshold to be a little bit higher than this inside floor. That way my door will close against the threshold and it will have enough room to open. Now this floor slopes down. So I've cut my threshold to length and I want my door the edge of my door to be right here with the edge of the jam. So that means my threshold is going to slope down a little bit. If you have a threshold sloping down, it's hard to get a nice snug seal on the bottom of the door. And I can glue this wood down and then I can screw my threshold in right on top and now the threshold is level so I'll get a nice even seal. And that'll still look nice. You got to make sure this is waterproofed here. You know, glue it down with some sort of a silicone sealant and that'll work just fine. Okay, I've got my holes drilled and I've got my plastic anchors in there. And I took this piece of wood, which is actually a piece of the stop that I removed. And I've got that glued in place with construction adhesive. Because I cut off the end of the threshold that has the hole in it, I had to drill a new hole. That is all set to go. And I have the rubber gasket installed on the bottom of this threshold. I can put it into place and screw it down and my threshold is ready to go. Now we've got a nice, even, stable, threshold. With the stop installed, then I finally cut the door bottom so that it goes around the stop and that looks great. So now with the door bottom on, we got a nice tight seal. It's going to shed water beautifully and because we moved our threshold up, we have plenty of room for it to open and it clears the floor and with the door bottom in place, it's going to protect the door and give a nice tight seal.